lovelies, it's Emmy and I'm back to drink a beverage. Yeah! So I hope you're all are thirsty. And today I want to share with you this beverage. So this was one of my favorite summer drinks when I lived in Japan. Um, it's called Soken Bicha. Here in the US we have lots of vending machines that have lots of sodas. Um, in Japan you'll find vending machines, I'll put a link down below, that have more of a selection of things that are to me a little bit healthier. You'll see a couple sodas, but certainly not a panoply of, of sodas. There'll be lots of selections for waters, flavored waters, and teas. So iced teas are really popular. Green tea, um, even black tea, but usually it's black, it's milk tea, so they add milk to the black tea and it's sweetened. And they also have hot and cold beverages in vending machines, which are pretty nice, and hot coffee. That come in little cans, but this one's called Soken Bicha. I'm not sure what I'm sure one of my Japanese friends can tell me what Soken means. Um, it's a blend of 15 different things. It's caffeine free, but what's really great, and I really miss this about Japan, is these they don't have any calories and they're delicious and quenching. The summers are so hot and humid in Japan. It's just unbearable. They also have a couple. I have another drink I'll drink for you too. They have some of these kind of ionized waters or kind of like Gatorade-like drinks uh, as well. A couple of them and I'll sample one of those in a later video. This is not, you know, a feminine product, don't worry. This is an example of a Mugi Cha tea bag. So Mugi Cha is, I believe is buckwheat. And so what you do is you buy a huge bag of these. You can buy the tea like this already made or you can buy these bags of these tea sachets and you just drop this into a liter of water and you store it in your fridge and you drink iced mugi cha. You can't find soken bicha in the sachet. Um, it's proprietary apparently. So the way you drink it you have to have it cold and I'll put it in a glass so you can see it. So it has this really beautiful color. It's not carbonated and yeah let's taste it. Here we go. Come by. And when you smell it, it smells, yeah, it smells like toasted grains. So let's taste it. Mmm. I haven't had that in, in gosh, I think since I left Japan. I picked up this bottle of Soken Bicha when I was in LA at the Japanese market. It's so good. It's like iced tea, but better. It has, it's not sweetened. It's really light and cool and quenching. Toasted grassy and this is more complex. It has a little complexity to it. It tastes a little bit more woody or earthy or herbally. But not at all bitter. Not like some black teas when you oversteep them or even green tea if they're oversteep they're quite bitter. This is not bitter at all. It just tastes woodsy and earthy and it's delicious. I love it. In Japan these sold for about a hundred and 25 yen, I think something like that, which is about maybe about a dollar fifty US or so. Um, all right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys can find Sokan Bicha or maybe Mugi Cha in your neighborhood because it's really delicious and good for you. If you're still thirsty, you can go here and here and watch a couple more videos. And like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. This poor horse can't see.